I just want to, before I start with this little story, I want to show you this little diagram back here on the board. Uh, this is my house when I was growing up in East Berlin with my parents' house. And I just want to point out that this is my neighbor and Peter's room here. And there is a long hallway coming around here. And here is Erica's room. That's me. And this is my little room. And then down through the hallway here, and of course there's a kitchen and other things. Um, and the garage was over here. But down here is the living room. Here's the TV. So I just want you to remember that as I tell this story, that this will come into play later. That this hallway, my room, one's the living room with the TV. All right. <laughs> That's really all you need to know about me, but I will to tell you a little more as well. So, uh, Stephanie, if you please. <laughs> it's a challenge growing up a person of indeterminate gender, even in East Berlin, where we had many fine examples of gender bending. The East German women's Olympic team. They were wonderful. Even my parents did not really know what to do with me. One day I'd be out with the boys, throwing rocks at the Russian tanks. And the next, pouring over a fashion magazine, thrown over the wall from the West. But every once in a while, something comes into your life that changes your path. And for me, it was this music we are hearing. Mozart's Piano Concerto No. 21, a piece of such feminine delicacy that my young heart took to it completely. It was like ballet and beauty and a puff pastry rolled in powdered sugar and wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger, I don't know. But what I did know is I wanted it to be a place I could live. And if you're going to live someplace, you've got to have something to wear, don't you? So where to shop? Shopping in East Berlin. Ha! Going into Mama von Volkeri's closet. Oh, but no, her Gertrude. Oh, two hugs a year, Gertrude. She was not sexy. So there wasn't much to do for a while. But one day, I was out in the garage next to my Papa's Trabant, and there was a little box marked to give away. Very strange thing to see in Berlin. And I went down and opened the box. And down in the box, there were nighties pink and black and blue and fluffy lacy things. It was amazing. Mama Van Valkyrie was sexy once! Who knew? But since she was giving these things away, I decided they were for me. And so I took them back to my room and then I had something to go with the beautiful music. Let's try it out, shall we? wonderful time I was having with the nighties and the, in my room timing having was listening to the Mozart flouncing around lighting candles drawing vaguely erotic pictures of nature it was luscious but you know what you can't just prance around in your room pretending to sing songs and wearing women's clothing it's silly You've got to get up on stage, prance around, pretend to sing songs, and wear women's clothing. 
and then it's art. So I got brave and I went out into the sleeping house late at night, all dressed up, drink a little black market brandy, watch a little state controlled television, perhaps catch an old Katya Smirnoff Sky concert. But then one night, when in the brandy drinking, living room time having was, I heard a noise. Back here, it was my father, Uva. He was coming. And my room is here. And he is coming here and I am there. And there was nothing for it. I had to run for my room and try to beat him to the spot before he discovered me and glared through his 90s, looking a damn sight cuter than she ever did. But I did make it. But I felt such shame. I took all the 90s and threw them in the trash. But, but then in my pretty closet, I had a name, and it wasn't good. Of course, the very next morning I went out and got some out of the trash. <laughs> <laughs>